If you lose your eyesight, there are things you'll never do again, things you'll never see again, and things you'll never even see for the first time. Hi, welcome to SCF Arizona's Focus on Safety. I'm your host, Greg Fernandez. In this series, we bring you information so you go home safe from work every day. Focus is the right word for today's episode. The best camera in the world can't match what your eyes can do. That's what makes them so amazing. But as amazing as they are, your eyes are also very vulnerable. In fact, the only things that can go into your eyes safely are contacts, eye wash, and mellow light. The outside of your eye is delicate tissue that protects the inside. Let's light in. It keeps your eyes wet. Sharp dust and debris can scratch the tissue. Steam can scald them. Chemicals can burn them. Some chemicals are corrosive, which means they can eat into your eyeball. The center of your eye is the pupil, which controls how much light gets in. Behind the pupil is blood vessels, tissue, fluid, your retina, and your optic nerve. If you puncture any of these things, your eye is in serious trouble. Not only can a puncture to the eye leave you blind, it can kill you or leave you with permanent brain damage. All jobs have risk, but some jobs require you to be extra careful about your eyes. Welding is really dangerous. Arc welders give off hot sparks, and the arc is ultraviolet radiation, which can cause arc flash. Both can cause serious eye injuries. One quarter of all welding injuries are eye injuries. Even the most microscopic particles can hurt your eyes. Smoke, soot, chemical fumes, metal vapors from welding, and so on, carry molecules of chemicals that can easily get into your eyes. Some jobs have you looking up while things are coming down. Wet paint, paint chips, soapy water from window washing, oil and grease from under a car, are all things that can easily get into your eyes and your tears cannot dissolve those substances. Other jobs have you looking down when things are coming up. Carpentry, logging, framing, things that involve drilling, sawing and grinding can send flying dust debris up into your eyes. Farmers and landscapers face dust being blown in the wind. That dust can have sharp bits or chemicals in it, like farm dust, which can have pesticides. Plumbers face water going up and coming down, and it's not always clean water. Reflection of ice and snow or constant exposure to bright light can also seriously damage your eyes. You've heard you shouldn't look at the sun, and that's true, but it's also true of any bright light. We've talked about scratches and burns to your eyes, but now let's talk about puncture injuries to your eyes. The most common causes of puncture injuries are from falling or flying objects like nails, glass shards, wood chips. Look out for things that are sticking out like tree branches or pipes or from things that are hanging like hooks. We had a claimant that was hanging parts in a paint shop on a hook. He turned around and didn't see the hook which penetrated his eye breaking his orbit bone and drove the bone into his brain causing severe brain damage. It's very important to be aware of the hazards in the workplace in regards to eye safety and eye protection. Chopping wood, logging, carpentry, construction, auto repair, tree trimming, and so on run high risk of eye puncture injuries. Eye diseases are really serious. Most of them are caused by touching our eyes. You can pick up germs or chemicals on your fingers without even knowing it. And it's just normal for us to want to rub our eyes. Best prevention for eye disease is the best prevention for any disease. Wash your hands. And if your eye doesn't feel right, tell someone right away before the problem gets worse. About a year ago, I got a very serious eye infection and it's affected my uh, directing ability. Being a television director, I need to see and I need to see crystal clear. And my vision was very blurry. I've been going to the doctors, taking steroids, taking this eye drop and that eye drop. And even today, a year later, I'm still dealing with uh, the fact that some days I can't see very clear. It's certainly a situation you, you don't want to have. Not all jobs require eye protection, but if you're in doubt, wear it anyway. 90% of eye injuries could have been prevented by wearing eye protection. Sure, nine times out of 10, nothing flew up to hit you in the face, but it's the 10th time that'll get you. 
And today's eyewear is lighter, safer, more comfortable, and actually better looking. But what's important is that you're wearing the right eyewear for the job you're doing, and you're wearing it correctly. All eyewear should have an ANSI Z87 shatter rating or better. There are three main types of eyewear. There are glasses, goggles, and face shields. Welders, you need to wear the face shield because you face a triple threat. You face hot sparks, vapors, and the arc light that can cause arc flash. For those of you who work around flying debris, dust, liquid, fumes, you need to wear the goggles because the goggles will fit all the way around your eyes. And they also make eyewear for people who do and don't wear glasses in the workplace. And some eyewear even provides UV protection. If you're not sure if you're wearing the right eye protection, ask a safety professional. You should try it on. Make sure it fits snug on your face and that it's not scratched or broken. If you are in doubt about whether or not you have the right protection or that it's functioning properly, do not hesitate to ask for another one. Eyewear is a lot cheaper than an eye injury. Your eyes are a great prevention technique. Check your surroundings. Look up, down, and around, especially if you work near scaffolding or there are people on lifts above you. If you see something that could cause an injury or accident, report it right away to your supervisor. What if you do get something in your eyes? The first 10 to 15 seconds after exposure to a hazardous substance, especially a corrosive substance, are critical. Delaying treatment, even for a few seconds, may cause serious injury. So know where the eyewash station is and how to use it. And if you don't know how, ask. And make sure you don't cover it up so other people can't see it. So thanks for watching. Focus on safety. I'm Greg Fernandez. I'll be seeing you around. For printed information, call SCF Arizona Communications and Public Affairs at 602-631-2701.